believe we are live. Hi, friends. How are you today? I hope this finds you having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. Um, if you haven't already, just comment in the chat box. Say hello. Tell me where you're from. I've been reading um, some of the comments. Hi, Heather. It's good to see you. Um, hi, Jennifer. I'm glad that you're here. Um, Jenny, I'm so glad that you're here, even though it's so late where you are. We're going to rock this workout out. It's going to be amazing. Um, so if you guys can do me a huge favor, if you can just give me a yes, I can hear you in the chat box, or I'm with you, I'm ready to go in the chat box. Um, hi, Sienna. Hi, Christy. It's good to see you guys. Um, I just want to make sure that my sound is okay. We've had a few glitches with the live workouts um, because I think with COVID, everybody is on the internet right now. Um, and so the internet is a little bit slow, um, but we're hopefully gonna rock out this workout. I have got an awesome session plan for us today. We are going to be using dumbbells. So I've got my neon green ones just as, you know, so that you guys can see because my other weights are dark and you might not be able to see them with this video. Um, but if you have dumbbells, grab them. If you don't have dumbbells, that's okay. You can still do the workout. And then when you watch the replay, you'll be able to use dumbbells or water bottles or wine bottles or LaCroix boxes. I don't even know, you know, get real creative. Um, it just is fun to be able to spice things up a little bit with chair cardio and strength. So we're doing intervals today. We're going to do cardio and then we'll do strength intervals and it's a 20 minute workout. It's really awesome. Very intense. I've got an interval timer. Um, hi guys. And, um, as you know, this is a donation based class. So all of the donation links for the class are included in the description box. Um, and I'm really hoping to keep these classes going as a way to fund the channel and staying afloat um, over the challenging time of COVID. So if you're able to donate, you're feeling the love, you're feeling good from all the chair cardio and you wanna see more, please consider donating to the channel and there's PayPal, Venmo, or Patreon. And thank you for those of you who've already donated for this class. I appreciate you. Okay, without further to do, let's get started. I'm just going to read the chat really fast. Um, hi, everybody. Susan, Stuart, Jennifer. Oh my goodness, we've got a good crew. Tell me where you're coming in live from. I love reading back on the chat replays to figure out, you know, where everybody's tuning in. And if you're using an activity tracker today, let's track your activity and see what your heart rate gets to. Okay, I am not gonna procrastinate anymore. I wanna get you guys moving. Um, and thank you for being here. Thank you for donating. Thank you for being a part of this community. Um, I'm so grateful for all of you because it's because of you that um, we continue to share chair cardio online. So, okay, here we go. Let me see if you can see me okay. I think you can, okay. Have those dumbbells handy. So what I would do if I were you is I would put the dumbbells under the chair like this, okay? So my dumbbells are ready to go. I'm gonna get my timer out, guys. And if you're using an activity tracker, let's have you start if it's an Apple Watch or I don't know on Fitbit if they have the opportunity to like select activity. But what I do is I do cross training. So what I want you to do is hit cross training if you're wearing a watch, just so we can see what your heart rate gets to. Give me a big thumbs up in that chat if you are ready to go. We gotta warm you up. Okay, so ready? Chair workout. We've got a one minute warm up. And then we've got intervals of 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Mix of cardio and strength to boost your metabolism, build lean muscle mass, and get you feeling fabulous. Maybe I'll add some shimmies in there if you're lucky. Okay, here we go. Our warm up starts now. We're gonna do a backstroke. It's so important to include just a little bit of warm up before you really start going after those intervals. And you guys know, as always, that as we move, I want you to pace yourself and make the interval meet your body's unique needs. Go slower or faster as you need to. Okay, we've got some backstroke. We're just gonna do a little twist. Just ring out that spine because we've got a lot of abs coming up. Chair cardio is a lot of core work. What's up? 27 seconds left. Give me some shoulder rolls. I've got tons of energy for you today, team. I'm so happy you're here with me. Good, let's take those shoulder rolls forward. Yes, breathe, breathe. Drop, drop those shoulders down. Let go of anything you wanna leave for the next 20 minutes. Good, arm jumping jacks. Good, open and close. 
And our first interval starts now. We're going to overhead reach, side to side. 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. I told you, we're getting right to work today. So we've got nine exercises performed 45 seconds on, 15 off, two blocks, so two rounds all the way through. So if you're watching the replay or if you're joining me live today, you know, now you know the plan. Now you're gonna rock it, right? Did you bring your game face? I hope so. Let's go, reach and use the core when you pull the arms back in. You've got another five seconds before your 15 second break, and I'll show you what you can do when we break. So you can either rest or you can march. Okay, I'm gonna leave it up to you. So those of you who are newer to chair cardio, maybe rest. Our next exercise is a kick and punch. Use the abdominals, four seconds, get ready for it. Abs tight, shoulders back, and kick and punch. Sometimes I say drop your shoulders and drop your baggage. Let whatever doesn't serve you go right now because you are here to be awesome, to generate positive energy, to kick butt quite literally, and to feel your very best. I'm so proud of you for taking the time out of your busy day for some exercise. So you've got 21 seconds left, go slower or faster, breathe, sit up tall, drop your shoulders, drop your baggage, my friends. Good, can you kick a little higher? Reach a little longer. Energy in, gives you energy out. Oh yes, that's what's up. When you hear the timer, that's our break. So you can march, or you can rest, it's up to you, okay? I want you to really pace yourself at a speed that's right for your body. Next up, we're gonna grab your weights. So, we've got a fly and a row. Hinge forward, you go fly, you go row. Here we go, fly and row. For those of you not using weights, what you can do is just your arms, like this. Still a great exercise, strengthens those posture muscles. The posterior chain, okay? Drop the shoulders away from the ears. You don't wanna be using the traps, you wanna be squeezing those back muscles. <sighs> Breathe. 45 second interval, 16 seconds to go. Abs are tight. This is the first time we've used dumbbells in chair, so I'm excited. You'll have to tell me what you think. I wanted to mix it up for you all, give you some variety, some spice. Good, okay, rest. So next exercise, we're gonna do a bicep curl, overhead press, and down, and we'll add a calf raise for those of you who have the ability to do so. Screw the legs if they don't work for you. Ready? Three, two, one, and up, calf raise when you go overhead. Up, calf raise, good. So if you're not doing the calf raise, don't sweat it. Just work on those dumbbells overhead. Again, remember, this is the first time we're doing this together. So you can use the video on the channel again if you get more dumbbells or you wanna try using water bottles at home. Good, we're building shoulder strength and stability. It's a, such a good blend to do the cardio with the strength training. It's a little bit more bang for your buck. You know I like efficient workouts. Good, keep that bicep curl shoulder press going. When you hear the bell, we're gonna rest and we'll go back to some cardio. Good, weights down. Next up, we've got arm jumping jacks. And if you have the ability to do the legs with it, you're gonna do the legs with it. So march it out if you'd like to. We've got about four seconds before we jumping jack, and you know how to do this. Ready, go, out. Good, so I love a good mixture of strength training with cardio, because then you're really making the time you have to work out very efficient and effective, you're building lean muscle mass, you're boosting your aerobic capacity, all sorts of good things. So, how are we feeling on that jumping jack, folks? Give me a comment in the chat box if you're coming in live. I'm so happy you're here. You are the reason I love making content for this channel. It's you, babies, it's you, 10 seconds. So thank you, if you weren't here, I would be nothing without you. All right, we've got that jumping jack going. Breathe, abs are tight, and march it out. Next, we're doing a boxer punch and twist. Now you know this move if you've chair cardio with me before. So we go punch and twist side to side, use those abs. Ready, three, two, one, and go. 
There's that bell. Good. Now, when you punch, give me some energy. Really hit hard. Don't just kind of flimsy. This is not ballet. This is chair cardio, baby. <laughs> Let's go. Bring it on. Good. Can you punch a little bit bigger? Next up, we've got some more strength training to mix it up, okay? So we're getting the heart rate up, and then we're burning out those muscles, and then we're going to do it all over again, because I like you. Good. Let me know what your heart rate's coming to. If you're using that Apple Watch or Fitbit or whatever fun tracker you have, good. Punch and twist. Abs are tight. Nice work, friends. Okay. Woo! March it out. Grab those weights if you have them. Next up, we're going to do a tricep skull crusher for the backs of the arms. So weights are together. Bring the arms overhead, biceps by the ears. You're going to go down and then press it up. Okay? If you want to add a march, you can. Here we go. Down and up. Now, it's so important that you sit up as tall as possible. Imagine wearing your invisible crown like the king or the queen that you are. Don't let that crown slip. Abs are tight. Make sure your biceps hug your ears so that you're not getting weird muscles. You're really just working those triceps. Okay? So we're doing a tricep skull crusher, and our next exercise is also strength training. This is a good hybrid. We've got a good hybrid today. If you like the hybrid, let me know. So I'll do more donation-based classes with dumbbells. Okay. Keep it up, tricep skull crushers, and rest. Next up, we're doing a shoulder swing. So uh, check this out. I'm going to sit in the back. I'm going to go down and up. Down and up. Okay, so if you don't have the ability to use dumbbells, use your arms. You can bend your legs or straighten them. Here we go. Down and swing. Now, this really comes from my abs and my butt, not my shoulders. It's kind of like, for those of you who've ever done kettlebell training, oh, I found a way to do kettlebell training in chair cardio class. So I'm really bracing through my core. If you don't know how to brace through your core, we need to hang out together for a second. I feel my abs quite a lot. Oh my goodness. And these are just three pounders. So if you're using bigger weights, then wow, my heart rate's coming up from this. This is awesome. Good. Keep that swing going. Shoulders down, abs tight. Brace with your butt and your abs. Good. Rest. Weights down. March it out. You know that we can't have a chair cardio class without a seated run. So we're going to sit and run real hard for 45 seconds. Lean back, shoulders back and down. Take a deep breath. Be awesome. Go. Run. Good. Okay, so this is our last exercise of the block. Now we're going to go all the way back the way we came. I know you're pumped about that. So on this run, get your heart rate up as high as you can because then we'll go straight back through to our overhead reach, the very top of the circuit. Good. Abs are tight. Can you bring your arms back a little bit further? Can you put more energy and awesome into every single move? Yes, you can, baby. Believe and succeed. Let's go. Let's run it out. Woo! I love it. How are we doing, heart rate? It's coming up. Good. Breathe. Hang in there. And here we go. March it out. That's our rest. All right. How'd you do? How'd your heart rate do? Are you feeling everything? Are you feeling more alive now? All right, let's do it again. We're going to start with that overhead reach. Arms and legs go out to the side. Go. 45 seconds. Good. I hope this is a video you can use and reuse over and over again to feel your best. Good. If you're feeling generous, if you're feeling the love from chair cardio, if you like chair cardio, you want to see more of it, consider donating. I'm really hoping we can keep this channel going. I like you guys a lot. Good. Breathe. Okay, reach. Longer you can do it. Move. Move. Good. I wore my star pants today so you can see. So we've got two chair cardio moves, then two strength moves. Cardio strength. Cardio strength. Blend of both. Good. Reach. Nice job. So happy you're here. March it out. Next up, we've got our kick and punch. Let me see you really go for it. Again, if you're using a heart rate tracker, let me know what you're coming to. And if you're coming in from some cool part of the world, I want to hear where you're coming in live from. Ready, set, and 
Go, kick and punch. I love this kick and punch because I feel the stretch in my hamstrings. And I really do feel my abs working. Plus, it brings out the dancer in me. <laughs> Good. I like leaning back and laughing. That makes it better. <laughs> Good. Stay with it. You only have 45 seconds. Our last round of this exercise. So, 22 seconds. Can you go faster? Can you give me more oomph? And woo! Yeah! Good. Breathe. Nice job. Spark it up. Add some sparkle. Add some stars. Good. Stay with it. We're almost there. Then we transition to our strength training and march. Okay. Guys, I hope this is hard. Please let me know if this is challenging. I never know because, you know, some of you are like, oh, it's hard, too easy. I don't know. Just let me know. Ready? Grab your weights. We go. Back fly. It's time to work those posture muscles. So back and then in. Keep your shoulders down. Squeeze the shoulder blades together like you're squeezing the X in your sports bra or if you're a dude, I know you know where that is. <laughs> I know you know where the X in the sports bra is. Good. Squeeze. This is such a good exercise for posture if you have good form. If you have bad form, it is not a good exercise for posture. So I know. Keep your form solid and strong. Don't get sloppy on me now. Good. Breathe. Your heart rate should be coming down from the chair cardio, but you're still breathing heavy, which is great. I want to see you work. Good. All right. Three seconds. And sit up. Now we've got that bicep curl to shoulder press. Again, if you're not using dumbbells, use your arms. And the next time you use the replay, grab water bottles. Ready? Shoulders down and back. We're going to calf raise when we go overhead. Three, two, and go. Bicep curl, overhead press. You can actually do a little bounce with the legs if you want. If, you're, if it's too coordinated, it might be a little too coordinated. I like it better this way. Good. How you feeling, guys? How you feeling, team? I have actually seen, over quarantine, I've seen people get really creative with at-home exercise equipment. One of my best friends sent me a picture. She made kettlebells out of basketballs. How do you even do that? It's pretty cool. She, she sent me a picture of her five-year-old son holding her makeshift kettlebells that were from basketballs with filled with sand. Who knew? Now you know. Good. Four seconds. Good work. Breathe and rest. Okay, now we've got our jumping jack, so march it out. This is your second and final round to jack it out. I want you to rock it. So bring it on, people. Let's do this. Ready, set, three, two, one, and hop. Oh, yeah. Good. Open and close. I love the combination of strength and cardio. We should do more of this. Hit me up in the chat box if you like it, too. Let me know where your heart rate's coming to. Good. Lean back. Use those stomach muscles. I know you got them. We worked them out on the channel. Woo! All right. Jumping jack seated. Hang in there. Heart rate's coming up. Can you hear my breath? Is... I'm working. Woo! Yeah. Nice job. I hope you're proud of yourself. I'm proud of you. I want you to do it for yourself because it makes you feel good, not because you think you should. It's four, three, two, two. And march. Okay, now we've got one of my favorite moves, the box puncher side to side. Ready, set, and three, two. Just kidding. I always want to, I just get too excited. I'm too excited for this move. And go, side to side. All right. I hope you brought a friend. People don't even know that chair cardio exists. How is that possible? We clearly need to spread the love. <laughs> Chair cardio is such a great option. It's easy on the joints. It works your whole body. I think it's fun. Good. Okay, cross, punch. Really go for it. How's that game face? Good. Mindset is everything. So if you keep your brain in a strong, positive place, it'll enhance your workouts big time. Nice job. Keep it up. Wipe that sparkle off your face. Nice. Jennifer, if you're here, you do sparkle. All right, march it out. Next up, we're going to do tricep skull crushers. So take the opportunity, grab those weights. Again, this is where we go arms overhead, biceps hug the ears, 
You can keep marching. If it's too much, just do the arms. Ready, set, and go. Down and up. Notice that my elbows point straight towards the ceiling. I'm not going all out to the side weird and wonky. So keep your form on point. We don't want you to get sloppy. We want you to feel good from this exercise today. Good form is everything. It is. Don't just go through the motions. Make the motions count. Stay with it. Work in those backs of the arm muscles. One of my clients says, I want Michelle Obama arms. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so we do lots of upper body strength training. But she also wants Michelle Obama abs. So we work on the core too. Okay, hang in there. Next up, we've got our kettlebell swing variation, which I'm super stoked on. So remember, this one is actually all about the core. So not about the shoulders. So you're going to come forward. You go down and then you lift up using your abs, squeezing your butt. Ready? In three, two, and go. Up. I really feel this one. We've never done this before on the channel, but it's like my abs and my butt. If you do this right, you should feel your core. Good. Be careful with those dumbbells. I hope your cat's not underneath you. Oh, no. Sorry, Fluffy. Make sure the kids and the animals are out of the bedroom. Good. Keep breathing. Don't give Fluffy a black eye. Okay, stay with it. Good. Nice job. Good, smile and breathe. Stay focused on your form. Give me everything you can. You're doing great. Almost there. Awesome. This one's so hard. <laughs> Who knew? Oh my, okay, there's the bell. I was like waiting for that. Last but not least, our grand finale for our cool down. You are gonna run it out. Race for the finish. Okay, so shoulders down and back, abs nice and tight, smile big and bright, and go, run. Now, if you're having a hard time with this run, try a little bit of a faster march or go slower. Totally up to you. Remember, everybody's body is so different. Just make it feel good. Go, go, go. Come on, this is our last shot together. You're gonna get the heart rate up as much as you can. Abs are tight. Pump those arms. You can do it. Breathe. Good. You got it. Lift up higher. Put that crown on your head. Don't let it slip. Good job. Breathe. Come on, my friends. We're almost there. 10 seconds, grand finale. Go, go, go. Hey, -o. breathe. Come on. You can do it. Woo. And rest. Okay, march it out. Apparently my heart rate's at 155, according to this Apple Watch. I wouldn't be surprised because the combination of strength and cardio is pretty tough. So we're gonna bring it down with a light cool down. Make sure you stretch, make sure you cool that body down. So take it to one side of your chair, reach that leg back, give me a hip flexor stretch and reach overhead. Now we have to stretch your hip flexors because chair cardio is a lot of knee flexion. So it tightens the hips. We don't want you to tighten the hips too much. We need to make sure there's balance in your lower body. So if you have the time after this video, go do one of my butt exercise videos that involves bridging, switch sides, because the hip bridge would be a great thing to do to counterbalance the knee flexion that you feel a lot in chair cardio. So it's so important to strengthen your posterior chain, your glutes, your hamstrings, all those things. And you don't wanna just do one thing. Variety is the spice of life. It is. Okay, bring it to center. Take those legs wide. Reach over one side. Oh, that feels good. That was so fun. We need to do dumbbells more often. Switch sides. Good. Breathe. Don't forget. Activity completed. We're gonna bring it back to center. Bring those feet together. Take a deep breath, inhale. Give yourselves a huge round of applause. You guys, you rocked it out today with chair cardio and strength. Now I wanna hear in the chat box how you feel, 147, 130, that's so good. Um, I would have done a longer video, but we've actually been getting cut off at the 30 minute mark. So I've been keeping it at 30 because I don't want to keep doing chair cardio and then miss, like have you guys not join me. Um, so I've been keeping it under 30 minutes. Um, and also I have a client at three, a virtual coaching client. Virtual, don't worry, it's for all virtual. Um, so I hope that was a good workout. If you want to keep the fun going, definitely what I would suggest is doing one of the hip and butt 
exercise videos on the channel to balance out some of the chair cardio work and the knee flexion. Um, and then again, if you enjoy these classes, you want to see the channel keep going. If you can donate, the donation links are included in the description box below. Um, there's PayPal, there's Venmo, or you can become a Patreon and um, help be an investor in Caroline Jordan Fitness on YouTube. So um, you guys, thank you so much. And I'm really, really glad that you were all here. Um, Mia, be careful if you're recovering from high hamstring. I wouldn't suggest doing chair cardio for you. Um, I would suggest doing strength training, um, especially the butt and hamstring videos we have on the channel. Um, I loved the weights too, Randy. I'm so glad you did. Um, it's I should do a free Zoom class. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, um, I like that. Oh, I'm glad you liked it, Cindy. I'm glad. Something new is always good. It mixes it up. It's just a way to, um, it's a way to add spice to your life, right? So, um, you guys, I just, I love this this channel. I don't want to let it go. So let's keep it alive. Let's keep it going. Hopefully I'll see you next week for another live class. Um, I love you all so much. If you want to use this replay, you can, it will be up on the channel so that you can try it again. All right. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Thank you so much for being here and for donating and helping this channel stay afloat. Um, I will see you all for the next video until then be awesome. My friends. Bye.